gotta take a shit. It's the hardest set of my day. PR. Fucking, I PR'd this, that shit so, oh my god. I'm going home now. I'm done. Top set. Top shit, top shit. I just worked harder in that bathroom than most of you guys worked the whole time here in the gym. <laughs> Trust and believe. Wicked, wicked, wicked. people like I'm sure everyone sees we're all seeing the intensity shots we've all seen like the fucking guys hamming it up for the camera screaming like they don't do that in real life no one does that in real life like it's just because the camera's on you want to make it look good there's literally only one guy I know who does it in real life he comes to this gym and he really does yell all the time and he really is a maniac and that's Antoine <laughs> so when Antoine's yelling he's really yelling and it's not just for the camera so but all the rest of you guys, like the screaming and all this shit. It's just like, I don't understand. Because I come from a background of, of playing sports. Like I played football and all this shit. I fucking, I was a bodybuilder too. So I did the sport. I did pretty well at it in terms of like attaining a pro card. And I never had to like do all this like extra shit to like, because like I came from a background of sports where like, I was playing football and anybody who's watching who played football or any competitive sport, there's a lot of dedication that goes into the into that sport outside of just playing the sport. Like it's a rigorous schedule of practicing and like conditioning and all this shit. It doesn't it's not just like walking on a field and playing, right? Which is like bodybuilding is that. It's literally just showing up and playing the game every day. Like you're playing the game every day when you come here. Like you're doing the lifts, you're lifting that and like you get better at the game over time, development wise technique wise, form wise and all this stuff, right? But you don't practice for the gym. Do you know what I mean? So it's like the work is done once and it's done like, this is not like a practice where it's like a two hour long practice and you're running everywhere, you're doing this and you're doing that. Not that it should be, because that's not what it is. But when you guys like really look at the intensity of the sport, the reason why you have to make these videos that make the sport look more intense than it is, is because it's really not. And if you really analyzed, like, I'm sure someone's done the study somewhere that obviously doesn't apply to every single person because everyone lifts differently at different paces and different intensities and volumes and whatnot. But I would be willing to bet that, like, your total work time in here, guys, of lifting actual weights, that doesn't include loading them on and off. I'm not going to include that because that's, you have to do that to make the fucking, make the weight liftable to make the machine work, right? But I'm talking working sets. So let's say I did a set here and I fucking took this off and it took me 30 seconds. Let's be generous, 30 seconds, maybe a minute, uh, depending on like how our tempo is, how light the weight is, what we're doing, how many reps we're going for, like I said. So let's say anywhere in the 30 to one, 30 second to one minute range is every set. So how many sets are you doing? Or sorry, how many, yeah, how many sets are you doing here in the gym and per exercise? Right? So say you're doing like a high volume, you're gonna do five exercises with four sets, each one of them. So what is that, 20 minutes total? Yeah. That's being generous. And you're here for two and a half hours. So your rest times are longer than your set times, which is like, I understand that like you have to recover, but wouldn't you, you're literally making the recovery more, longer duration than the actual workload, but the workload doesn't dictate that you need that much recovery all the time. It's, it's wild to me, like to perceive that you're actually, this is actually hard for you guys. Like I'm not talking about dudes who are like rocking out the leg press over there and like putting eight plates on the hack squat. Like don't get me wrong, you need to recover between sets on that. Like you do, but like you also don't need to be doing eight plate aside hack squats to develop muscle and to like really become the best you can be. If that happens to be your strength level, it happens to be your strength level, like we've said before, but it's like to equate, to make these videos, and that's why all the videos that are like that, guys, are time-lapse. Aside from like Sam Sulik making videos where he's just walking around the gym, and even then I guarantee, I've never watched a Sam video. He probably edits a little bit in between to cut dead space here and there maybe, but like, it's like even if you were to watch a Sam video or to watch anybody prepping for the Arnold video, 
most of the video is not the working out. It's just talking or like between sets. Because if you watch a workout video of like someone training intensely and we only filmed the sets, it would be 20 minutes long. It may be like 50 minutes long. Some guys, do you know what I mean? So it's like, I just, I don't know where we get off like trying to make, I don't, I don't know where we get off. I don't know why we're trying to make this sport as intense as other sports when this sport is like literally more fun. And the intensity of this sport comes from the dieting for this sport and the torture you put yourself through outside of the gym. So it's not in here. Like I'm not here, I'm not, it shouldn't be your goal to come here and torture yourself. It should be coming here to push yourself and stress your body maximally and like isolate and like hyper fucking, hyper fixate on different muscle groups and build them up and develop them. That's what the goal should be. Not like, man, today we're gonna go for a fucking eight plate deadlift and then I'm gonna fucking after that, I'm gonna do fucking six plate side barbell bar rows that are gonna look like I'm fucking hip fucking the bar. And it's like, it's so intense guys. You have to lift like this all the time if you're gonna make it and they point at the camera and shit. And like, it's just chill out, man. Like I'm, I'm actually convinced that a lot of guys in this, in this industry could be one bigger, better and more shredded and more conditioned if they just relax. Because I have a feeling that your guys' cortisol levels are like through the fucking roof, dude. From the amount of like, from like, I go to, I work out, then I do a cold plunge. I hate to break it to everybody. Cold plunge is a stress on the body. News flash, that's another stress on the body. It's not like a fucking exciting thing for your body. It's a shock to it, right? And then you guys go get massage, you go get fucking this work, you go get that work, you're doing, some guys are doing like yoga or whatever the fuck it might be. You're never not moving. You're never recovering. You're never really like, your recovery is actually not recovery. It's still doing shit. Recovery is literally like sleeping. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, unless you're doing that a lot during the day, which, which I found that guys who are like top, top dudes, and you can see like looking back in time, you see like dudes like took naps during the day in their training videos. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a nap now and I'm gonna get up and go, it's like, that was the recovery. It wasn't like, oh, now that I've done my workout, I need to run and do a cold plunge. I gotta hop in the infrared sauna. And then when I get out of there, I'm gonna do a trigger point da -da -da -da, and I'm gonna get cupping. And it's like, buddy, your body's just beat to shit because you're trying to make this something so much more involved than it actually needs to be. Lift weights well push yourself in terms of poundages, but not outside of what your capabilities are. And you'll know that because a kid wrote me the other day, he's like, I always, I try to do your back technique on, on um, different machines, on chest supported rows. Like I'm always being pulled forward. I can't keep the position. And he's like, what do you think the, the problem is? I said, the weight's too fucking heavy. What other problem could there be other than maybe you have Crisco on the bench and you're sliding forward. Maybe you need to put a band down so your ass doesn't slide, but like, Obviously, if the weight's too heavy in front, look what happens to my hips. I, I kind of tuck in to get more leverage on that heavy weight in front of me. So lower the weight, keep your hip back, and rise up through shit. You know what I mean? God forbid. God forbid we lower the fucking weight. Like, and feel things. Like, what does feeling have to do with bodybuilding? Science doesn't say anything about feeling. If I felt my bicep, that's just a, like an epiphany. It doesn't fucking matter. It's, Nonsense. I fucking, I felt my bicep. whoop de dude Was it stronger? Did it lift more weight? It's like, I don't know. But anyway, yes, guys, stop making stuff more intense than it needs to be. Stop fucking acting like fucking 20 minutes of work in a day, which is like lifting weights. And not all those sets are fucking stressful. Like they are not. Maybe like one out of, one out of every four is like remotely stressful if you're training in a certain way. So it's like, let's say now it's down to fucking one set that's stressful per five. That's fucking five minutes of work. That's five minutes of work with night with like 15 minutes of warm up and like chilling out and like moving weight that's easy to move, right? So it's like, you're, you're getting all jacked up and all fucking praying to the man above and like thank all my friends and family and, and like, you know, I couldn't do this. This is a grind and it's so hard. Give me, thanks God for giving me the strength and the, it's like for five minutes, you've done, you've only done five minutes of work in a day and you think that you're fucking stressed out. No wonder all of you are broke. You don't even have the fucking work ethic to have a job, most of you. And you guys out there that do, fucking kudos to you. 
You should have a fucking job. This is not that stressful that it requires you to sit at home all day and do nothing. Like, it is not that stressful. I don't care who you are. I don't care what your background is. Like, you should be like, this is a sport that is a hobby. It's not even a sport, it's a pageant. This is a, this is a sport that is a hobby. It is not a lifestyle. Unless you're getting paid from it, which is a lot of you guys are not getting paid or properly, and getting five grand a month or four grand a month, it ain't enough, man. Like, it's just gonna end up not being enough for life. Especially if, if you have like a partner, you have kids, you have other responsibilities in your life, your family members might need help, or you live in a fucking super expensive city, like major city, like fucking Toronto, or fucking LA, or London, somewhere like that. Like, that's not enough money. It's not to rag on people. It's just, you have to be real with that, real with that, with that thought. Like, it's, you're not making enough money. And the goal isn't to scrape by as human beings, it's to like live life and flourish, right? Like I wanna make money enough to like just be comfortable. I don't need to own a $25 million yacht, but I like to know that like my bills are paid easily and I have time, I have money for the things I like to do. And this is like fun for me. So like, I still understand why there's not more videos where it's just like guys like having fun in the gym or like talking shit or fucking Cause it's all I'm doing when I'm in here, obviously. You've seen the fucking videos, like, cause when I see these guys taking themselves so seriously, I wanna go up and just be like, bro, you work five minutes a day, chill out, man. Oh, what the fuck? Like, I came, came out of nowhere, getting beat up. 